how you see it someone. Oh, I am seeing someone. <laughs>
to encourage the next person who who would hear it mm. and it's so funny that it was almost timely even with the lyrics uh, mm. where i talk about kadola uh-huh. kukwela and you know we reached the 20 kwacha uh-huh. and so it's just a song that will help anybody out there like encourage them that god is still there with them even nice. in your hustling in your tamangaling nice. yes so it's it's coming it's coming so the blessings are the coming. blessings are coming maybe looking this way right now but i know it's coming cool. how long did it take you to, to come up with the song itself the video yes uh we wrote this i wrote the song sometime in 2019 late 2019 and mm-hmm. then when we got to the studio we changed a few um, lyrics here and there it took us about well all together because it mm-hmm. takes some time like when 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 you're recording mm-hmm. like maybe three days all together oh, yes nice. with nice. with one of the days being with Sheffy nice yes. nice interesting as the so ish it's coming <laughs> <laughs> it's really you know what this is something i don't know about you mm-hmm. but me to god talk me and mm-hmm. one day you will sit down and, <laughs> and it's happening right now <laughs> it is happening right now so any other secular artists are you going to work are you going to work with anyone else besides 187 Honestly speaking I don't know. I'll, I'll put it at I don't know. So you write your own songs? Yes, I do. Nice. I do. Yes, and of course like people have gotten, you know, they they reached me and I said, "Oh, why did you sing with Sheffy?" Mm-hmm. And I do get where they're coming from as well. Mm-hmm. Um there's some who even went as far as commenting on the on the post oh, saying nice. because there's Sheffy in this song, uh, I'm I'm not going to listen to it. And I just honestly yes. speaking, that really broke my heart. And I I, I, I I put myself in chef's shoes like if i were a secular artist mm. and chef was a gospel artist mm-hmm. and he had different interactions with me concerning you know christianity and all mm-hmm. and he invited me to be a part of a song you know okay. uh, how would i feel with people speaking like that people who say they are representing a god of love yeah. okay yeah. so we should we should maybe ask ourselves such questions like how um is what i'm going to say about this going how to make feel? someone feel nice yeah so Who inspired you, Esther? Okay. Who inspired me? Well, growing up, it's definitely my mom because she's also very musical. Oh. My family is quite musical. I mean, my dad um, was quite, quite musical. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> my my mom was in the choir every now and then. Mm-hmm. And so I'd go with her to 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 rehearse and mm-hmm. practice, choir practice. And I would be very moved. You know, there's something that just would spark in mm-hmm. my in my heart. And every time I see like singers on stage mm-hmm. on TV mm-hmm. I'd be like I w- I really want to be to be to, you know to have um, an experience mm-hmm. in their world but I really didn't know how how much of a big deal that was going to be for my okay. life because initially I wanted to be a lawyer you for know? real how's it going with that? <laughs> <laughs> how you going with that scholarship so we don't know if we're going to re- we but if you had the opportunity can you go back and study though actually would I would go back nice. I actually would yes but nice. for now it's it's the music and so it's been an amazing amazing journey I get mm-hmm. to meet so many people mm-hmm. so many different people lawyers themselves you know doctors medical people everyone from from different uh, spheres of influence